Hey loves, Kim here and I'm back with another video. So if this is your first time on the channel, I just would like to say welcome. Hi, my name is Kim. I'm primarily a Sims 4 gamer, builder, I do a lot of stuff on The Sims, okay? <laughs> I love the build in The Sims, and today I wanted to bring you guys a grocery store, and I'm currently here in the world of Magnolia Promenade that came with Get to Work. So if you love builds and gameplay, feel free to subscribe and be sure to click that bell, that way you never miss an upload from me. And of course, if you're an OG that's been here for a minute, thank you so, so much for coming back. So yeah, as I mentioned, I am here in the world of of Magnolia Promenade and I wanted to do a grocery store for a couple of reasons. Um, reason number one, this um, lot is actually featured in my Super Sim Challenge. If you are interested in some challenge gameplay, also just a little bit of drama and just playing the game in general, feel free to check out the card on the screen and the link down in the description box below for that playlist. Oh my gosh, I am having so fun, so much fun. I'm playing with my Sim Cell and that series premieres on Saturdays at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time shameless plug but um, in all seriousness I really really enjoy that challenge um, but yeah I needed a grocery store for um, a part of that let's play and I don't know I just really like creating things that sims are going to use every day or people would use every single day and I really miss having grocery stores in the game I really like the grocery stores from the sims 3 although they were rabbit holes it was just nice having that little bit of realism actually having to go out and choose your groceries instead of having them magically appear in your refrigerator now some would argue hey i mean it's 2020 you can kind of have groceries show up at your door but still i mean it just kind of takes the fun out of it in this simulation game so anyway mini rant over <laughs> i'm currently working on the checkout area and i used a couple of these counters from base game actually i used two of the regular tile counters and then one of the counter or the corner counters which i have the cash register on and with this grocery store it isn't huge i think this is a 30 by 20 lot but i wanted it to feel like it had everything that your sims need um on a day-to-day -day basis so right now i'm creating like these departments so in most grocery stores or supermarkets they have departments like the bakery department the produce meat and seafood pharmacy um deli so that's what i'm creating here i did end up having to take away what i was going to have as the designated deli department i wanted a deli department because i felt like if you had the get to work pack you could easily make like sandwiches and sell them that way and i thought that that was just super cool and like a nice way to bring a little bit of realism to the game however well I guess I'll tell you about it once we get there but I needed that space for something a little bit more something that's a little bit more common in grocery stores but we'll get there um, eventually but yeah these two departments along the back the one on the left side is going to be our meat and seafood I know typically they're separate but hey I only had so much space so I tried to make it work and then the department to the right on the back wall is going to be be our produce area if you really wanted a deli I would recommend that you change the produce area to a deli I just feel like that might be a better use for the space just depending on how you want to use this lot so yeah I'm still just trying to separate separate out the areas here designate a space for each um space and i wanted this um the departments to actually be usable so i will be putting like stoves and actual counter space and sinks in like every area so like if your sims wanted to prepare foods and like sell it here you would totally have the capability to do that so i am moving the cash registers up forward i moved those a couple of times <laughs> just trying to get a bit of spatial awareness making sure that your sims have a enough room to move around everything is not like stacked on top of each other and you know we actually feel like we have like aisles with stuff and not just 
you know, just random things placed. Like I wanted it to feel fuller than what it was since this was a tiny space, but I'm glad that I didn't put it on a larger lot because honestly, <laughs> we probably would not have a video here today. Um, right now I'm playing around with some of the refrigerators and the um, wine chilling racks. I'm sorry, juice chilling racks here. <laughs> this area over here is going to be like our frozen food area. So like, um, like frozen meat and things and also like our deli and juice vino area so yeah that's going to be what's over there and right now I'm currently working on the pharmacy so I know in the grocery stores that I um, have access to they typically have like a pharmacy section just for like basic things for like your band-aids or like some people pick up their prescription medicine from their grocery store some people can get a flu shot from their grocery store so yeah I mean having a pharmacy in a supermarket is pretty common where I'm from if that's different for you definitely let me know I'm very interested in that um, right now I'm playing around with these display shelves that came with the get to work pack I was going to use these in my aisles because they're pretty much made for this where you could just put your merchandise on but I was just I was I don't know I didn't want to use them because I don't like how some items they already have things on them so you can't truly customize them so it didn't make sense to have like the same I guess extra or filler items on each aisle if that makes sense so I do eventually get rid of them I'm back over here in our bakery section and I put in two stoves I just feel like if you're if you wanted to run this as a bakery or if you wanted your sims who might have like a higher cooking skill or a bakery skill to really run this and like sell your goods you're going to need more than one stove and I try to maximize the space as much as I can currently I have a couple of those refrigerated displays over there um, but I do change it around a little bit to incorporate some more of those get to work items so this is the point where I was like okay maybe I don't need a designated deli because I completely forgot about the produce section what kind of grocery store does not have a produce section oh my gosh so I scrapped the deli I mean but I would say if you really did want a deli use the space that in the produce section and work that as your deli I feel like that's going to be the best alternative and how I decided to display my harvestables is I took these planters that came with the base game pack if I'm not mistaken sliced them down a bit and I'm rising them up using the alt and nine key um, to raise them up and what I'm going to do is manually place some harvestables there just to really make it look all nice and full now at first I was going to do that same method all around this area that I kind of designated for the produce section but I wasn't really liking the way that it looked it just looked kind of shoddy and so I decided to just keep the planters in the center um, on those console tables and um, I am going to use these refrigerated displays place in just a moment in place of the outer planter boxes I just felt like they look cleaner yeah I'm definitely using these and I know um, this looks really similar to what I would see in a produce section where um, the vegetables that needed to be kept kind of like misty was it so like your carrots your peppers your leafy greens you know what I mean like I don't know like in the produce section there's typically like the things that are like kept dry like your apples your lemons your oranges like potatoes and things like that and then like there's the ones like on the end that have like the mist that will come and like you know just keep it fresh keep it nice and I guess hydrate it I guess like you guys know what I mean I'm pretty sure that you've been to a grocery store before you know what I mean unless it's different in other parts of the world again let me know I'm interested in these things um, speaking of grocery stores, so I actually used to work in a grocery store this was years ago um, this was like when did I work in a grocery store? I think I worked in a grocery store. Um, it was during college and I worked there for like two years. And while I was working at that grocery store, I actually met my partner that I'm with now. Um, he did not work in the grocery store with me, um, but he worked nearby and I met him. Um, 
well we met during the time I was at this particular grocery store so I guess grocery stores have a little bit of a soft space in my heart um <laughs> kind of a weird tangent but yeah um I don't know I guess I was kind of into it because of that because it's like when you work in a grocery store like the first thing they teach you is like the general layout of things and like why things are here and why things are there because um if you're aware of like your grocery store layout you can better help customers when they come in and i've learned that um in grocery stores is set up that the things that are quote unquote healthier for you or like fresher like you know breads vegetables meats um produce I said vegetables right um they're typically on the outside and like your processed things are like in the center aisle so I don't know just throwing it out there maybe that'll help somebody um save some time while grocery shopping anyway <laughs> back to the build I have made it to the point where I have pulled out a bunch of things from debug and of course I am moving the cash registers up once again like I said I had to move them a couple of times because I just wanted the space to feel like your sims can actually move around like it was feeling really compacted at first I actually thought about putting like a little mini parking lot but I was like Kim okay this is a 30 by 20 lot get it together woman so <laughs> now that I have expanded the store um, and moved up the cash registers this is pretty much where everything is going to be set um, I'm currently going through the um, wallpapers and deciding what I'm going to use to cover the half walls for the aisles and what I'm doing I'm using these um, I guess it's kind of like a laundry basket this came with the parenthood pack this is the closest thing that we have in the game to shopping cart so a lot of times when I want it to look like there are shopping carts I use that item and I just stack them together using move objects on and I really like the way it looks and we are moving back towards the front of the store or at least yeah okay we're moving back to the front of the store and I figured that this place needed a floral area we definitely just needed a space for these beautiful blooms I felt like this was a perfect place to really showcase the items from the seasons pack um, and I also wanted to just have things again for your sims to actually do if they wanted to run this store for themselves so obviously they can use this to create bouquets and sell them so I was definitely pulling out a lot of things um, I also have some of those seasonal reefs and I end up mixing in some more flowers and things from other packs but yeah I really really enjoy this area in the grocery store I used to work at the floral area was also the area where you would get like your balloons and things so I do add a couple of balloon decorations in just a bit I would say my favorite flowers or maybe not my favorite but definitely top three are those um flowers and kind of like that um is it 10 but anyway, like the taller flowers with the sunflowers and like the bluebells and things like that from the cats and dogs pack. Mwah, chef's kiss. I love those flowers so, so much. I don't know if it's the container that they're in or if just, just because the blooms are beautiful and they're all full and just so much color but I really really love the way that they look but yeah I'm just filling in this area and this is our floral department so yeah so at this point I did cut out a lot you guys this was tedious tedious work I pulled out a bunch of harvestables from the debug menu and I kind of wanted to kick myself in the face when I <laughs> play tested it because I will tell you a lot of these harvestables will not make it from the gallery absolutely will not um i noticed that the um debug items that were kind of like multiple or like clusters like those yellow peppers and like the watermelons did not make it but the single harvestables they made it so just putting that out there um it's an easy but tedious fix if you wanted to put those items back same thing with these boxes of pizza i'm thinking it's because these aren't things that you can just naturally generate you have to acquire them through like a service or through like um like a debug cheat so that's why they don't make it from the gallery into your game so just putting that out there but if you decide to put them they make your stores and like your shelves look just that much more full you know 
I don't know, I feel like we should be able to buy like frozen pizzas and like put them in a the microwave, but hey, that's neither here nor there. But yeah, we made it back to the outside and I'm just adding in a bit of a roof. I can't wait to play with the platform um, feature. Hopefully by the time this um, video goes up, we will have that updated patch to the game. I'm really, really excited to get into those um, platforms. I have so many ideas and honestly, I'm looking forward to the Snowy Escape Pack. I don't know, I've definitely would like to learn a little bit more about it but I feel like the best way to learn is to just get into it I was gonna get the pack anyway because the world is just so beautiful and I have so many like storyline ideas for Mount Cobra Revy but um you know anyway <laughs> let's focus on this build so it's at this point where I decided hey you should probably add some signage so I am using this um I guess it's a considered a picture I'm not sure if this is like a picture or if it's considered wall decoration I think it's a picture but it came with the get famous pack and it looks kind of like uh like a right angle I don't know it looks like an L <laughs> I don't know it just kind of felt like that kind of worked as a logo and it's slightly different from what I usually do when I'm trying to do branding like usually I use like a neon sign or like some sort of signage that actually looks like a word so I mean I thought this was cool and this was different from what I usually do I really really like it and the brown helps to break up this big white building and just give it a little bit more visual interest um, I pulled out this bike rack from the debug menu and what I'm doing here I'm just switching out those rails that I had that was originally from the get to work pack this is a debug item but it's from the get together pack so if you're looking for it um, make sure you have your cheats on and then you filter it for debug and get together that's going to save you a lot of time finding this bike rack um, these ATM machines are actually um, CC so I I believe I changed them for the gallery upload. The gallery should not have any custom content in it. I think I used the parking meters instead when I uploaded it to the gallery. But I think in my personal game, I will keep the CC in there because I like the ATM mod. I believe the one that I have is by Little Miss Sam. I could definitely be wrong, but I'm pretty sure the one that I have is by Little Miss Sam. Anyway, back to the build. I am just messing around with the awnings again, just really finalizing these areas um, I done a lot of um, harvestable placement off camera like I said tedious tedious stuff and unfortunately a lot of it didn't make it but a good chunk of it did so like I said don't get discouraged if you want it it's not hard to put it back it's just a little bit tedious anyway this is the area where I said if you don't want to use it as like the quote-unquote produce department you can definitely use that as the daily department and over here is the um, meat and seafood Typically those things would be separate, but like I said, work with me here. I tried, I tried. <laughs> anyway, I am um, just adding a couple of more things onto my shelf. So these shelves came with, ooh, I think those shelves might have came with dine out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those shelves came with dine out. And I have a lot of different things in the aisles. Like I have some of the brooms from the Realm of Magic pack. I have like those fuel cans from Eco Lifestyles. Just a lot of things. Obviously fill it up with whatever you want. But I kind of tried to have like one aisle just for like non-food things like cleaning items. And then I tried to have an aisle where it was like the pet food and like beverages and things. And then I had like more of my fresher things that had like flowers and spices and peppers and things like that. Anyway, I'm working on the signage for the departments, like the bakery department. And I also use those, um, those kind of like hanging banners from the spot a pack in the aisles I'm not sure if you can see it but they're the green ones um, I do change the color a bit but I basically kept up with the style 
and in my head these things would say you know what the contents of the aisles were and I'm just adding in a couple of more um, just a couple more decor items like spices and things like that I wish I had more things that your sims could buy and like actually use unfortunately for this build to make it just look nice and full I did end up having to use a lot of decorative things um, but again feel free to fill the aisles with whatever you want to fill it with but I feel like for storytelling purposes this place is really great and um, for gameplay purposes when you fill it with whatever you want this place will also be really really great um, but yeah it's at this point where I'm just adding in a couple of clutter items I added in this sign I just repeated it I wish we had more options but hey it kind of is what it is and I'm just adding in um, this juice <laughs> this juice painting in our juice department and you know what I was like okay let me use this wooden signage bit from dine out pack and i believe the inscription is also from dine out i really like it because it helps to separate that sign from the wall and i do the same thing um in a couple of other departments which we'll get to in a bit and i just size down the um dine out rug and put it by the cash registers because if you ever worked at a cash register for hours on end honey you need something soft on your feet or something that's not like just straight concrete because unfortunately Unfortunately, in a lot of grocery stores, like the store is just like, I mean the floor, it's just like hard concrete and it's really, really uncomfortable. Anyway, I'm just adding in a couple of seats outside so if your Sims bought something to eat in here, they would have the, a place to kind of eat it right away. Also, I wasn't able to add in a break room so if your employees needed to take a lunch break, I know they don't really do that in the game, but for storytelling purposes, if they needed a lunch break, they would have a place to do so. And I'm just adding in a couple of things on top, like some roof details and a satellite dish. And I don't know, I think at this point, I'm just kind of adding in some finishing touches here. Like I said, in the floral department is usually where you also get the balloons. So I put in those balloon decorations from the toddler pack. I'm adding in some more signage around and I'm filling in our pharmacy. So I'm using these um, display shelves from the Spa Day pack, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm using that divider from Spa Day as well, if I'm not mistaken, just really filling in that area. And I have this chemical analyzer machine from the get to work pack, just because I felt like it fit with the whole pharmacy thing. But anyway, you guys, I have rambled on enough so I think I'm going to go ahead and hop off here if you made it this far in the video I just want to say thank you all so so much for watching it's been a while since I've done a speed build so it was nice to get in here and you know just to do it again and share this um grocery store with you guys be sure to check it out i will have all of that information down in the description box below so be sure to put it in your game and use the move objects on cheat before you place it trust me you're gonna need it <laughs> okay so um yeah thank you all so so much for watching um don't forget to like comment and share this video it helps me and the channel out more than you know and if you haven't done so already feel free to subscribe and be sure to click that bell that way you never miss an upload from me anyway you guys i have rambled on enough i'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and as always i will talk to you in the next video bye guys